guys, Marco here. I just wanted to share uh, with you a little modification that I made uh, to my mini lathe. Um, although I've been thinking about getting a bigger lathe, uh, uh, I've been using it quite a bit lately, and I feel a little cramped, and I could certainly use a little more power, but uh, I haven't quite decided what and when to get. So in the meanwhile, I decided to continue on, on with some of the modifications that I had in mind for it. And one of the things that have been bugging me uh, about this mini lathe is uh, when you're trying to drill um, into a part, setting the chuck, so it's very hard to tell how far you're, you're drilling uh, into the part. So normally I've been using a regular uh, digital, well not digital, but uh, I guess analog indicator attached to the tailstock with this magnet. And uh, I machined a little um, aluminum part that attaches to the quill. And as the, as the tailstock is extended, it uh, indicates how far, uh, the tail, uh, how far the quill extends. So um, basically it reads up how far into uh, the part you, you've been drilling. But um, this unit has a few, a few issues. Um, one thing is the size of this back piece and I keep hitting it when I when I when I crank the tail stock and the, that creates a problem because as I hit it it goes off into into uh, the distance here and, uh, and and all my all my measurements get messed up so um, a little while back I purchased a, a four inch digital caliper from Arbor Freight, I paid about $9.99 in, uh, on, on sale. And I figure I'd use this uh, to uh, um, attach it to, to the tailstock somehow and uh, make a digital readout out of it. So that's precisely what I did. And uh, that's what I want to share with you, show you a little bit how the conversion turned out. All right? Yeah, let me show you. Okay, so this is the uh, four inch digital caliper has been modified uh, quite a bit as you can see I have cut both of the uh, parts of the uh, I don't know what you call that but some sort of a beak there and uh, ground and drilled a hole there and tapped it into into the head uh, of the tailstock and uh, the way this works is uh, as you crank it, uh, you see the numbers getting bigger as the quill extends and uh, obviously you would have a chuck in there with a drill bit and you'd be cutting into a part that would be set into, into the chuck. But uh, So again, the way it works, you, you just move it back and forth and uh, uh, the digital readout tells you how far into the part you've been drilling, which is exactly what I've been looking for. Now, this part right here is actually the part that I was using in the past with uh, with my uh, analog indicator. Obviously, this was rotated on this side, and it would uh, it would contact the indicator like this, and as it extended, as the quill extended, you could read the distance wise. But you can see here. I just kept hitting. There's not much of distance here, so even trying to be careful, I would end up hitting this, and then uh, would just move it right off of my little plate, sending all my measurements. Well, it wasn't pretty. Let's just put it that way. So, well, now I won't have to use that anymore because this digital readout promises to be very good. I mean, it's on nice and tight. Uh, uh, one thing that I will do is probably cut cut the excess of this plate off uh, just to make it a little a little nicer. Uh, but I won't do it right now. Um, one thing I wanted to point out though uh, is uh, one of the problems that I had was with the release of the chuck. Now the chuck you kind of tap it with a mallet on it and. Uh, it gets uh, basically stuck wedged into into the quill here and it won't come out 
the way the way it comes out is after withdrawing the quill it eventually hits a threaded stud that is inside here now I was um, okay so first the issue the issue was that uh, it will it wouldn't disengage it anymore because it would hit the aluminum part first before the quill was fully retracted and if I kept on uh, on winding it back it would push this right off the quill so that was that was a problem uh, because I could never take uh, my tailstock in and one of the reasons that that's important is because sometimes you want to use something else in the quill like a, a light center in this case anyway uh, the problem was getting rid getting rid of this uh, taking it off the off the quill so what I decided to do I wanted to do a longer threaded shot but it turns out that not only was metric thread it was a left-handed thread uh, needless to say I'm not set up for doing that kind of thing so I ended up uh, what I ended up doing is uh, threading into this threaded uh, this threaded rod and threading it for a socket head cap screw I got one right here this is actually the same kind that I used so I threaded the rod and inserted this uh, this threaded screw about maybe like this far so that kind of lengthened basically effectively lengthened the rod by you know about that much what that allowed me to do is uh, to be able to release the, uh, the um, this chuck before this part, the aluminum part, hit the back, uh, the front edge of the tailstock. And so I'll just show it to you right now. I can wind it back, and at a certain point, this is going. There you go. I think it released, and now you can see I can pull that out forward a little bit and I can just throw something else in. When I want to release that, same deal, just wind it back until it releases and there we have it. And let me see if I can show you on the inside. You might be able to see. So let me line it up and put some light at the same time. There you go. You can see the threaded, uh, I mean the screw down there. So that's how I did it. And uh, I think this is going to be really, really cool to use. It's certainly going to make my life a lot easier uh, in the future if I keep this meal. And if I do get another meal, this might be a modification that uh, I think I want to do on whatever meal I buy next because uh, it's going to make my life a lot easier. So I hope you like it and uh, until next time, ciao.